welcome back so in this video we'll be making a very simple api so that we'll just know the basics of how api works in python using flash so the first thing we have to do is to create a virtual environment so you have to bring up a terminal bring up your terminal so this is the command if you have the python.m installed already we did that in the last session so that is installed so python dash m then and the name of the virtual environment whatever name you want to use i use env in my case so after writing this you just press enter and wait for the virtual environment to be created so after the virtual environment is being created you can activate it by writing dot env slash scripts slash activate so you also hit enter then the virtual environment to be created see it here this is to show that the virtual environment has been created and also we we'll set our vs code interpreter to the virtual environment just come down here and click here then select virtual environment here now since you are going to be using flash we have to install the library we need and for now for this video the only library we need is flask so let's ask you to install flask press enter so after flask has been installed after flask has been installed then you are good to go so the first thing we are going to do is to import our dependencies so from flask import flask then the next thing is just like we did in the previous video we have to register the app after registering the app with Flask, then we can start with our, our API endpoints. So the pattern is there's a decorator, and the first the decorator is to, to, to define the endpoint. So it is done this way app.route. Then the endpoint is being passed. So for now we are just going to leave it as slash alone so that it will be the default endpoint. So we can find a function here. Let's just say hello. Let's have hello there. Then we have return. Now, in the previous video, I explained that REST API use JSON. We use JSON objects. They, they commonly use JSON objects for representing their data. So for those of us that are familiar with JSON before, we know that JSON is similar to dictionaries in python so we can use a python dictionary for our data then convert it to json and how we can do that is to import another library from class which is called json file so instead of just returning a dictionary instead of just returning the dictionary maybe we want to return message is hello there this is last so instead of just returning this message if you just have because this alone is a dictionary which is not json so we could just put it in a bracket and have jsonify jsonify so this jsonify method will convert this particular data into json format so our rest api will be able to return that to us so we are done with this simple API. So it's time to test our API and see the response. Now to test the API, we have to run first flask run. Now the app is running then we see the server on which it is running. So let's create another terminal. Let's create another terminal. So on this terminal, what you want to do is you want to send a request to the port. We want to send a request to this particular port that our API is loaded on and check if we can get this data back. So since you are using the command line, we can use call. Yeah, we can use call, we can also use wget, but for now we are going to stick with call. Call is available on all other operating systems as well. So we use call, then we put in the link 127. It is on our local host. And on port 5000. Now we can see it is returning the message to us. Message hello there, this is class. 
So we can see the simple API is now working perfectly. It is working perfectly. So apart from using the command line, apart from using the command line for sending the API request, because there are some times we need to, to do something more, like adding a token, which we'll get to later. It, 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 it can be stressful. So we can also use some other tools like Postman. Yes, Postman is an app that can be used to send API requests. So it is easier. It is easier using Postman. Or we can also use some extensions. For example, we have Thunder Client. Let's check out Thunder Client. So this is Thunder Client. So you can install Thunder Client. Let's install Thunder Client. After Thunder Client is being installed, you are going to see the logo here. You are going to see the logo of Thunder Client right here. So let's Let's try doing the same thing with Thunder Client. Open Thunder Client. After opening Thunder Client, you can just come here, New Request. After coming to New Request, since we are making a GET request, so let's put in our, our link there. If you don't have any other thing to check, so you can just press send. And now you can see it here the JSON object has been returned. Message. Hello there, this is Flash. So in the next video, we'll go into more details about REST APIs.